Today, we're going to look at another pretty mind-boggling problem. Your high school has a strange principle. On the first day, all students must partake in an odd opening day ceremony. There are 1,000 lockers and 1,000 students. Every locker starts out closed until the principal tells the first student to go and open every single one. Then the second student must go and close every second locker, the third student must go to every third locker, and if it is open, he closes it, and if it is closed, he opens it. The fourth student does the same to every fourth locker, and so on until all 1,000 students have gone. After the process is completed, how many lockers will be open? So if you want to pause the video right now and give this a shot for yourself, now's your time to do it. With these types of problems, I like to bring the problem down to a smaller case. Let's simplify the problem down to just 10 lockers and 10 students. We can see the first student will go and open every single locker. Then the second student will go and close every second locker. We can notice that he skips over the first locker, just like each student thereafter will also. This means that the first locker will stay open forever, so we can add one open locker to the tally. Now it's time for the third student to go, so he goes to the third locker, closes it, and then the sixth locker opens it, and then the ninth locker and closes it. Notice again, he skips the first, like we said before, but now he also skips the second, just like every subsequent student will. So the second locker, we know, will stay forever closed. Now the fourth student goes, opens the fourth locker, and also opens the eighth. As before, the first locker will remain open, and the second and third lockers are closed and will remain closed. And now the fourth locker is now open, and we know that it will remain open as the 5th through the 10th students will not touch it. So we can repeat this process for students 5 to 10, as you'll see on the screen. And we notice at the end that there are 3 lockers left open, 1, 4, and 9. Now what is special about these 3 numbers? They're perfect squares. And what is special about perfect squares? They have an odd number of factors, as opposed to non-perfect squares that have an even number of factors. This is true because each factor of a number has a pair. For example, a number like 10 has factors 1 and 10 and 2 and 5. But for a number like 9, the factors are 1 and 9, but 3 and 3, so it only has 3 factors instead of the 4 that 10 does. Why is this important? We can see that each numbered student only opens or closes lockers that he is a factor of. For example, student 2 will only ever touch lockers that are divisible by 2. Student 3 will only ever touch lockers that are divisible by 3. Student 4 only with lockers that are divisible by 4. And on and on. So a number being a perfect square means they will be affected an odd number of times because it has an odd number of factors. It will change from being closed to open an odd number of times, which means they will end up in the opposite state as they started with. For example, if it was affected three times, it would start closed, then go to open, then go back to closed, and then go back to open, ending open because it started out closed. In contrast, every other number that's not a perfect square has an even number of factors. This means they will be changed from closed to open and back to closed an even number of times. So they will end up in the same position as they started it. For example, if the locker was affected twice, it would start as closed then change to open, and then going back to the same closed as it started. Since the lockers started out closed, and we want them to end up being open, we only look for the lockers that have an odd number of factors, so the perfect squares, and those will be the ones left open. For the original problem, we had a thousand lockers and a thousand students, so the problem boils down to just finding the number of perfect squares from one to a thousand. And fortunately we know that 31 squared is 961. So all squares below 31 will also be less than 1,000, and therefore we can conclude that 31 lockers will be open at the end of this strange ceremony. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new, and hit the bell to get post notifications so you don't miss a video. 
Also, please comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, and we'll try to get to them.